Now let's talk about one more Canva resource and that is Canva Design Size Guide. Now this one will be helpful when you are creating the professional designs in Canva. So it will be very helpful for you when you're choosing the design sizes. Now, for example, if you are on uh, the home page of Canva, where it says different, you might want to try. You have different designs of Facebook posts, letterhead, invoices. So it's gonna give you a starting dimension of what you want or choose from here with uh, the particular previews. Now, for example, you are creating a design, but you know that it will be for a larger display. So can you get more information about that? Definitely, yes. What you will do is you will write here canva.com forward slash sizes. So it will open up design size guides. So for example, if you don't know the standard size of a poster or brochures that you see as a template in Canva, you can check the sizes or design size guides for these particular posts whatever you want so for example if you are interested in a poster then you will click on it and it will give you all the details about the poster that you would want to design the smallest one is in this dimensions the small medium large movies bus stop so if you want to design it for a larger display you have all the options to choose from here so this is perfect when you are using Canva to professionally be a graphic designer. There might be different requirements for your clients. Sometimes they want a smaller poster, like a pamphlet or something. And sometimes they want it for a larger display. So you have to make sure that it is of the optimum quality. Similarly, if you want to see all the dimensions in centimeters, millimeters or pixels, you can set it accordingly here as well. So similarly for social media let's say for facebook post if i want to see all the possible sizes in here uh, you have the profile picture default size let's change it to inches okay let's keep it pixels profile picture pixels is this cover photo is this image post and we have all the sizes that we want to adjust accordingly to get the optimum quality image and it also talks something about each of that category down here. So I'm sure this is helpful for you. Uh, see you in the next lesson.